first and foremost, I want to give all honours and glory belongeth to my Lord and Saviour whose name is Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Wahavaka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, who we reverence. And double honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach this truth well and that continue to teach this truth well, and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning across the globe. This lesson is going to be based on the fishing of men. Okay? The scriptures talk about fishing. Fishing is a what? You have to have patience when you're fishing. We're going to get straight to it. Matthew 4 and 19. And it says, this is Matthew 4 and 19. Start at 18. And Yahweh shall walk in by the sea of Galilee. Saw two brethren, Simon, called Peter, okay, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. Okay, so that was their that that was their trade. That's how they earned money, fishing, which is a good, very lucrative trade. Okay, and it's some um, they call it a man's man's job. You got to be tough to be a fisherman. Okay, especially in them seas. Okay. And he saith unto them, follow me. So Yahweh Shai, instantly when he saw the disciples, he knew. He says, follow me. Why did Yahweh Shai say that? Because he knew who the elect were from the beginning. And I will make you fishers of men. In a spiritual sense. Okay. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. They didn't think about it. They weren't second guessing it. They left straight away. Immediately, and going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James, son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in a ship with Zebedee, okay, their father, mending their nets, and he called them, and they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. So can you imagine that? Here it is, you had a lucrative trade, good money, okay, father, working with your father, and you just leave. That's, again... These are signs of faith. All this truth is about what? Sacrifice. Making the right sacrifices for Yahweh Shai. So they knew they had the faith. Instantly, instantly. They had the faith to trade it in what to be a fisher in a spiritual sense. And this is what we are. We are fishers in a spiritual sense. So now we're going to go straight to Matthew 13 and 47. And we can also grab... Ah, bear me. We're going to go to Jeremiah 16 and 16. Then we jump back to Matthew's. Jeremiah 16 and we're going to go straight to 16. And it says, Behold, I will send for many fishers. Okay? So Yahweh Shai, he's sending out many fishers. And who are the fishers? Those that are laboring in this work. We're fishing. But it's Yahweh Shai that does the selecting. We're just fishing. Okay. Say of the Lord Yahweh Shai. And they shall fish them. And after I was sent for many hunters. So, so right now we're still in the process of fishing. Okay. The elect are still being what? Gathered through this word. Okay. And after I will send for many hunters. After we've done. <laughs> after Look. After we're not on the highways and byways anymore. Everything's shut down. That's when that hunting is going to begin. And they shall hunt them from every mountain. Okay. And this is also referring to what? When Esau hides in them caves. Okay. There's going to be an elect that hunts them out. And from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. Okay. So right now, our main job is we're not to be carnal. We're not bringing up arms. We're not part of no black militia, no black panther. All we're doing is teaching the Bible. And through us teaching the Bible, what? That's fishing. We're reading, we're reading out, we're reading in, okay, that net, okay. Taking our time fishing, because fishing, it takes time. Let's go to Matthew's Baba Kasha. Matthew's 13, 47. Matthew's 13 and 47. I'm on the right one, 13 and 47. Again, 
Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net. Okay, and why do you have a net? To catch, to lure in. Well, you have the bait is to lure in, but you have the net. Okay, and the bait is this word. Okay, and it's a net that was cast into the sea and gathered every kind. So it says every single kind. Okay, so you had what? You had good fish and you had bad fish. Which, when it was full, they drew to the shore to see what they had catched and sat down and gathered the good into vessels but cast away the bad away. So, the good is, is what's, it, what's that referring to? Men. Because you're going to have what? The good and bad that come into this truth. That's why it says in, um, what is it? Bid them to the marriage. So, you're going to get all kinds that are bidden. You're going to get many that are caught. Okay? And when you're fishing, when you, you, you have good fish, sardines, mackerel, okay, salmon, that's good fish. And you have other bad fish, catfish, okay, which is unlawful, okay, catfish, okay. you got, you got even certain men that look like catfish, you know, that's just, I'm, I'm being a bit facetious, okay. But anyways, you're going to get what? The goods, and they're going to be gathered into the vessels, what, to eat and to sell, okay, because they're of worth. But cast the bad away. You can't eat shark. Even though you've got some nations that eat that. But you can't. Shark. Catfish. You may catch an octopus. Okay. So this shows you. You're going to have the good. That are going to be in the truth. And the bad also. So shall it be the end of the world. And the angels shall come forth. And sever the wicked. From the just. So there's going to be a separation from the wicked. And the just of our people. I shall cast it into the furnace of fire, which is represents destruction, and there shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Okay. So again, that's the parable of what? You're gonna have good fish and you're gonna have bad. But our thing is just the fish and Yahabashai, he does a selection. All we do is fish. All we do is just teach this word. But Yahabashai is ultimately he's making that selection of who's worthy and who's not worthy. Okay? So with this just I'm going to shut off here. Lord willing, this was edifying. Just a short one. You know, a longer. usually I would go in longer for 40, 50 minutes. But sometimes, you know what, you just keep the lesson short. So with this just I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.